Okay, session three in the series. Uh, this should be a pretty quick and simple one and really is, is pretty much uh, at the heart and basics of selecting elements, and that is understanding the arrow tool. And the toolbox is the first item on the list. Um, so the first thing to note, uh, since everybody kind of has freedom to uh, change their own work environment, is that this info box palette should be part of your work environment. If this isn't part of the work environment, um, make sure you update your work environment to include this. There are a lot of items, not just on the arrow tool, but for all tools in general, that are only available in the info box. Uh, for example, there are no arrow settings outside the info box. Um, you can certainly generate shortcuts for these settings, but it's always good to have them up here and available for all of the various tools. Um, you know, the wall tool, for example, has geometry method that's only available in the info box. Uh, but as far as the arrow tool goes, there are these four settings right here. Uh, and we're talking specifically about what these mean for selecting items. Uh, so the first option in the, uh, in the info box here on the arrow tool is the selection method. Uh, and you'll notice that there's three different options. Uh, the little diagram, once you understand what it's trying to illustrate, uh, makes sense. Uh, but basically this first option says that if I cross over part of any element or completely over any element, it will select it. So I can see here these slab pieces. Uh, if I cross over that corner, it's going to select those slabs. Uh, the next one, uh, if I do that same thing, you'll notice it's not selecting that slab. It will only select the slabs if you either click on it or drag completely over it. Um, and then the last one uh, is, uh, I hear it called like the crossing window option. Uh, and that basically is a variation on the first two. So if I select from left to right, for example, it will only select the elements entirely within that crossing window. Uh, right to left, it selects everything that that window crosses over, whether it's on an edge or entirely within the element. Uh, next is geometry method uh, of the, the arrow selection. And to be honest, I almost always just leave this as uh, the square marquee. And it really, if you're using the crossing window and then holding shift, for example, to drag select and grab various elements, um, it's, it's just as quick as any kind of custom marquee, or even quicker in, the, in most cases. Um, so that's the selection type and the geometry. And then third option is this quick selection um, uh, option. And this can be on or off by default, but the shortcut for turning that on or off is the spacebar. Um, I always have this on by default, and if I want it off, I just hold down spacebar. So what this does, if I hover over the surface of an element, uh, it's going to show that little magnet icon, uh, same as the icon in the info box. Uh, and that's saying that I'm selecting the surface of this element. So if I wanted to combine these, uh, for example, using the crossing window and selecting this group of slabs, for example, I, yeah, I can sit here and, and hold shift and click on each of these. Uh, it's a very tedious way to select those elements. Uh, the faster way is to hold down shift and space combined so that I can, for example, drag left to right over these slabs and then I grab those slabs. Um, you'll notice that I grab some other things so I can hold shift and deselect the pieces that I don't want and it's infinitely quicker to do this than it is to sit there and meticulously select every slab. Uh, and then I can hold down shift and space again and select different groups of elements. Um, so the space bar is really useful and in fact I use it all the time to select groups of elements that are over a slab. Uh, if I try to slick, click and drag over a slab uh, it's not going to let me um, because that uh, quick selection option is highlighted. The last item on the um, uh, arrow tool is this uh, the surface method uh, or selection type uh, that pertains specifically to um, morphs so if for example uh, let me draw out a couple of morph planes here um, and I'm just gonna draw a couple of them together um, so if it's the white arrow and just like the space bar for selection type I can hold down control shift and it's gonna cycle back and forth between those options uh, and that allows me to select just single edges or, or um, surfaces of a morph rather than the morph as a whole. Uh, and it's important that this is always on the gray arrow and use the control shift shortcut to activate that. 
Uh, if this is on the white arrow, for example, notice the, the cursor shows that little uh, not available, like the little uh, uh, X'd out symbol, because I can't select anything except a morph. Uh, so it's really important that this is always on um, the, the black arrow. Um, otherwise, you end up holding down Control shift to switch back just to select anything that's not a morph. And uh, because morphs are not that prevalent in our models, uh, we only want to toggle that off as needed.